Hey ponies, and I'm back straight after that Blackberry video. I know you all care. Now, Engadget goes hands on with Jolla's Sailfish OS. Uh, so, they recently had a chance to spend time with David Grease and Visa Mati Hardikanani Nano of Jolla and take Sailfish OS for a spin. Now, the, this is an open source mobile OS which builds upon uh, Mer. A fork of Migo, uh, which is pretty interesting. It uses a Nemo framework with a custom UI, and it supports both ARM and Tiny 86 devices. Crap. Uh, this is it's pretty interesting. I want you to see this video. It's quite good. Uh, you probably will like this. Uh, this is running on the Nokia N950 developer handset. So. Mm. Now I'm going to quickly tell you what is in here, what's in here and everything. Uh, yeah, I suggest you to watch this video, it's pretty good. Now it's quite hot. <sighs> this lock screen shows the carrier on the top, pretty much like any phone. The time at the bottom and a column of notification icons along with the right side. Pulling the screen down reveals a menu. The further you pull, pull the more menu items you see. This is quote unquote from Engadget by the way. I'm not creative enough to write this. This is accomplished by an audible tactile hap haptic feedback which will let you feel which item you're selecting. And it's quite old. Once you've highlighted the right menu item, just release your finger to select it. While difficult to describe, the gesture is extremely initiative. It forms the basis of all menu interactions and selfish OS which allows easy one-handed operation regardless of screen size. Lock screen menu provides access to things like phone app, camera app, and profiles. Pulling the lock screen down, uh, lock screen up, lets you pick a detail notifications. Very interesting, I want you to see this video, it's so good. As you can see here, pulling it down, pulling it up, down, can't remember. Once you're on the home screen, you'll find a customizable row of four icons at the bottom. These are your commonly used apps. Uh, like every OS. <laughs> The empty space above is reserved for a grid of cards that represent each of the remaining app. Such Joel is using the home screen as a task manager. Selecting the home screen up reveals the launch screen. Traditional grid of app icons. Pulling the launch screen up reveals a menu of single item that lets you return to home screen. Jesus, I'm sweating. Launching the app is simple, as tapping an icon navigation is gesture based. Pulling the screen down reveals the app's menu. Swapping left to right replaces the back button. That's nice, that's nice. I think. I can't remember what else does that. God. There's so much here. Inside an app, pushing left from the right edge of the screen lets you peek at your notifications. Very cool. While sliding all the way to the left brings you back to the home screen. Minimize apps appear as cards on the home screen that are running in the background. Cards are, can be customized by developers to display a UI with real-time info and controls. For example, uh, the card for contacts app consists of static pictures of your friends. The cards for media player shows track details and includes play, pause and next track controls. When tapping on the card results in maximizing its app, card controls are gesture based. Pulling right on play, pause and pushing left on the next track triggers the appropriate action in the media player. Another unique aspect of Sailfish OS is the ambience concept. Like the other platforms, you can personalize the lock and home screens by selecting an image from the gallery. Jolla takes things a step further by customizing the color of the UI elements, including fonts and menus, match content of picture you selected. Not like Apple's album display mode, iTunes 11. Mm hmm. A blurred and dimmed version of the image even becomes a background overlay with the launcher and the apps. It's completely seamlessly seamless and it looks great. Overall, we came away reasonably impressed with Selfish OS. Ah! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Tell me if you like this after you watch this video. Not this video, this video is crap. Now, after you watch this video, tell me in the comments below what do you think of this OS? Do you think of its features? Do you think it's copying any other one? Android, Apple, or Windows OS? Yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy your day. And I know this is not a hands on by the title, but you know. There you go. Bye.